Land of the Loon, home sweet home. It's like it was made for me. Can you zoom in? Do you know what this is? No. Do you know what it is? No. It's a wild corn dog. We just gotta grab some mustard when we come back. <laughs> He's not falling for it. Oh, I made another new little friend on my journey, and he's painting some of the shells I kept. You gonna make a rainbow one, you said? Okay, so he challenged me to a competition. We shoot around a 10, and we gotta knock these little guys off the picnic table. So he just did his, and he hit them each over once. So now it's my turn. Miss, 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 miss. What the heck? One. Hit. Miss, miss, miss. Oh. No, he still has. The seven-year-old beat me. Oh, I still got one big one. So these are tiger lilies. They're Saskatchewan's provincial flower. They're actually a protected flower. It's illegal to pick them. I don't see them much in southern Saskatchewan no, where I live but they are very commonly found up north here and they're gorgeous. So now we're back to federal land with the are national going, park. Are we walking down the In the national park, and this dam right here runs right to the river by Prince Albert, the North Saskatchewan River. This is a nice little fishing spot where it's kind of pooled up before it hits the dam. The dam was built by the government of the Dominion of Canada in 1960 to regulate the Spruce River in Prince Albert National Park and to provide water for the improvements of Emma Lake for recreational purposes. So these are Saskatoon berries, not really ready yet, but they just grow naturally and they're delicious. So what would it be that's burrowing in there? Snake. What? <laughs> that is not funny. What would burrow down through moles, gophers? A hazel. This is a hazelnut trees here. And sometimes they're hard to see because they're underneath the leaves. Mm -hmm. But that's how they grow. You just once they're ready, you can just peel off the outer bark and then nuts inside. Get at the nuts, you have to just peel it back, and the nuts inside. Awesome. So how do you know when they're ready to eat? They'll just, the, the outside will start turning brown and stuff. Okay. On the on the part you're peeling off yeah. will turn brown. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what is this thing again? The Anglin Bridge. If you follow this road up, there's a little road that goes right up and it's about six kilometers to get up to the fire tower. Okay. So this is that yurt that you were telling me about? Yes. They built it last year. It's from Mongolia. There is no nails in it. It's all rope and canvas. And if you can see the front door, there's some artwork detailing on it. Mm-hmm. It's very beautiful. Site of the Anderson family. Okay. And right here where this bush is, is the site of the old log barn that is no longer here. The house, the cabin is right directly ahead of you over there. Okay. And then there's a shed over here, another shed over here, and their well is right here. And it's all original. There's some new paint and whatnot. Yeah. So it looks like the old wishing wells, but it legitimately is their well. Mm -hmm. This was in the early 70s that there were still people. Really? Yeah. They lived here. And so they keep this cabin unlocked, you said? Yeah. yeah. You can go right in and take a look at it. Wouldn't you? Okay, let's peek Come inside. Home. There's the wash basins. Oh boy, it does smell old in here. 
Do you know what I mean? It mm -hmm. smells like an old house. Old house. Oh, they're little papers from back in the day. Look at the stove. The kitchen cupboards. Oh, I remember my great aunt with a wood stove cooking on that. Now look at how they did dishes. Oh yeah, that'd be a little tougher. I see they put some in here. So this is in a room. Okay, that chair is looking a little worn out, but that's original. On Anglin Lake. In our family, we do a bacon roast in the summer. So my dad would buy back slab bacon and we would cut it up and we would roast it over the fire pit and it's the family tradition. How good is that? Good. So good that I don't want to talk right now. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. This is the roasted bacon finished product. Barbecue style. Yes. Okay, so I'm eating my fish caught by my Juanita today and fried over a fire in butter. Oh, that's good. That is good fish. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's worth a second piece. Okay. The ambiance in Van Vita is comfort, relaxation, <laughs> and home. What a journey. What a journey.